We know now that more killings of two Western journalists took place in Syria. We reported that yesterday. American reporter Marie Colvin and French photographer Rim Oshlik. Special correspondent Jeff Glor has more this morning with their story. Jeff, good morning. Erica, good morning to you. These days it can be easy to assume that social media and lightning fast communication will expose everything. That the slaughter taking place in Syria will end simply because it should. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Witnesses are critical, as Colvin and Oshlik well knew. It's just one of many stories. This was one of Marie Colvin's last reports. His um, house was hit by a shell. A helpless child dying in homes because the Syrian government won't stop firing on its own people. Why is it important, do you think, to see these images? Why, why is it important for you to be there? I feel very strongly that they should be shown. These are 28,000 civilians, men, women, and children, hiding, being shelled, defenseless. Just hours after that, Bye, Colvin. Colvin was killed, along with French photographer Remy Oshlik inside their makeshift media center. Colvin said Syria was the worst conflict she's ever covered. And that's saying something. She lost an eye in Sri Lanka in 2001. They are hitting civilian buildings absolutely mercilessly and without caring. But as Colvin insisted, our mission is to speak the truth to power. We send home that first rough draft of history. Some might call that bravado. Many would say bravery. And make no mistake, Colvin appreciated the difference. She was apparently just about to leave. The situation had gotten that much worse for journalists. Her mother, Rosemary. She said she was on a very important story that she wanted to finish, and she would come out today. I was like, one day, one day would have made all the difference. Since the uprising against the Assad regime began in Syria last year, seven journalists have died in country including Anthony Shadid of the New York Times just last week of an apparent asthma attack. But this time, some intelligence reports suggest Colvin and other members of the media are being directly targeted. We absolutely honor and praise the bravery of reporters who are placing themselves in extremely dangerous situations in order to bring the story of oppression and brutality to the world. A total of 19 journalists have died since the Arab Spring began. Marie Colvin now becomes the latest. It is unfortunately hard to imagine she will be the last.